All right, guys. So welcome to Mostar in Bosnia Herzegovina, and this is our 29th country. So when we got here, the parking situation on our Airbnb was a little silly. So the actually the the host came out and parked the car for us, which was pretty nice. And then they gave us some lemonade and sent us on our way. So we decided we're gonna do a little exploring today because it might rain tomorrow and there's some things we want to see outside like this statue of Bruce Lee apparently for no reason is here but we're gonna go check that out and then on the way back we'll take you guys on a little walk through the old town which when we got here was just packed with tourists I guess all the buses must have got here so we'll show you that when it calms down a little while right now let's go find Bruce and figure out what the hell he's doing in Bosnia growing up I was always a huge Bruce Lee fan studied martial arts and he was my hero and this is one of the top things to do here in Mostar is to come see this statue. So here we are checking out the Bruce Lee statue. We don't know why it's here. We've looked on Google and can't figure it out yet. But here it is, a random Bruce Lee statue in the middle of this park. Town's a mystery to us because this is one of the other top things to do on Google's things to do in Mostar and it's visit this abandoned building that's been turned into a place where they could do graffiti and murals so we're gonna walk around and see if there's any point to this either we're just not understanding wow, any of this. Look at this one, this is a good one. Apparently it used to be allowed to go in and look around, but I don't know, I guess now it's shut down. You can only paint the outside. Could be a knockoff of KFC, I'm not sure. <laughs> USA Pizza, Chicago Pizza, Dallas Pizza, and Los Angeles Pizza. <laughs> I didn't even know Dallas had their own Three. pizza. Cheese. Crispy fried chicken. So this river here runs through the middle of Mostar. It divides the city into two halves. So one side is the Eastern or Muslim Asian side, and the other side the Western European or Christian side as we were told. We're staying on the Christian side only because we didn't want to get woken up by the call to prayer every morning. Although we will probably come over here for some donut because that smelled pretty good when we just walked by there. So we were walking back to the old town and then this happened. As always. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so the pit stop's over. Back to business. We're going to head up into town, walk to our hotel and give you a quick peek at the Mostar Bridge as we cross it. Oh, the crowds died. Yeah, they have. No. Okay. No. Yeah. There's the famous bridge. It's a uh, very, very slippery walkway here. We already saw someone take a spill. Oh, 
Apparently people jump off of this bridge here, or at least they used to, they're not allowed to anymore. What we've heard, they've had to rescue several people even this year from attempting to do it. That's just damn crazy. <laughs> So that is the main road there. Right over here is our hotel. And our little, and our little car. A little Volkswagen up. <laughs> so they got a first aid kit in case anything happens. A whole bunch of flyers. You get your own little kitchen. Coffee and tea are always free, they said. And this one. Here's our room. So we got a TV, queen size bed, full size. This little bathroom. And it was only 40 bucks a night. Great location, great host, great room. I went with a Middle Eastern meat dish or some sort of beef and pita and fries and I don't even know what this is but I remember it tasted good, it was spicy. Was it kept TV or something? Something like that, yeah. And you got something like I a don't goulash. Yeah, he said it's like a goulash but it's a little bit more spicy. It smells so good at this table right now. Mm -hmm. This is great. This meat is so tender. Like dissolved in my mouth. We was worried because there's nobody in the restaurant, but it is a really good, really good restaurant. All right, we are going to eat off camera because it's too good not to be a pig. <laughs> I am absolutely stuffed. I guess I'm gonna put some ice cream now. Good morning from day two in Mostar. We are loving this little old town. And this morning we're about to get serious and go do some uh, museum, the War and Genocide Museum. So we don't really know much about the history. We're about to find out, right? Right, a little bit I read was Serbia was trying to do an ethnicity cleanse in 92. So this is eerie feeling. Eerie. Oh, it feels so ugh, down here. So this area down here is how they used to live from 1992 to 1995 in the basements is their war shelter.
All right, guys, so we just came out of the museum, and uh, it was more like a museum to the victims of the genocide than, than telling the whole story of the war and the genocide itself. So you get to see, like, the victims and their personal effects and some things from the mass graves and stuff. So it was pretty interesting. It was very, a lot smaller than I thought. It only took us about what, 45 minutes maybe to go through there, 45 yeah. minutes an hour. But it was worth a quick stop. Yeah, it was nice. All right, where are we headed to next? The mosque. Um, now that we're all sad. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to head off to a mosque? Yeah. We just came inside the mosque and um, it's in the center of Old Town and there's really no crowd here right now, it's just us in here. I think we're the only ones here. We decided to come in and pay the entrance fee, which we'll put down below, because we want to climb up into the minaret. Right. We've never even known you could do that in any of these mosques. So we're going to actually climb up there now and get the view from up top. Watch your head. Yeah, I see that. Right, tight squeeze. Yeah, oh my goodness. I don't know if I'm getting out of breath or dizzy. Uh, <laughs> Healthy balance. <laughs> the climb is definitely worth it because the view from up here is the best in the city by far. I mean, maybe up on top of one of these mountains, but <laughs> this is really cool from up here. Hope these shots do it justice. All right, you ready to walk it? <laughs> oh yeah, we're gonna spiral down. <laughs> so we just came out of that mosque and we were way, we were where is way it? Way, up, way there. up there, <laughs> way up there. It was a first time for me. Yeah, that was we've, awesome. we've been in a mosque before, but I've never been up in a minaret before like that. So that was, uh, that was definitely pretty cool. So now we're gonna head out and see if we can't find some lunch. must have lavender fields close by because all through these alleyways they have that for sale. But it smells so good. It's so relaxing. All right guys we got one more pro tip for you guys before we go today. If you are going to come to Mosul I would suggest coming during the week because the crowd is like one third of what it was on the weekend. It's much easier to navigate and get around through these little alleys and a lot less aggravating. So that was 48 hours in Mostar. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as we do. This city was so much fun. It was inexpensive. We have, we're going to put some numbers up, maybe in the blog, maybe in the video, but the prices of things here were just ridiculously cheap. Caught us by surprise. Yeah, we walked out of one place asking the way, are you sure you charge us for everything? I mean, the prices here, Especially for an old town tourist area like this, incredible, well worth the money. Definitely make this a stop on your list of, you know, old city tours in Western Europe, Eastern Europe. <laughs> Our next stop, uh, we're headed back to Croatia now to see Southern Croatia. So we'll see you guys in a couple of days. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see you, see you soon. Time.